So we are approaching this building. This one is um, the Nishi O Nishi Oi. Um, so what we're looking at, um, I just basically came from that neighborhood. It's a very nice and quiet neighborhood, except for this this guy. This is the first one. I haven't seen any motorcycles, but basically as I approach here, I saw these huge um, tracks. Uh, these are JR tracks. I think the Shinkansen goes through here. And as I go past this tunnel, then I can see the building right away. It's literally just across the street from um, the Eki. It's this building right here. Um, the the outside looks really good. Um, I don't see any major problems. It's built in Heisei 14, uh, except that I can see at the top like this area. Um, some tiles are turning black. I think that's just due to the weather. Um, otherwise, the surrounding of this building looks really good. Um, I actually stand on this side. Oh, there's actually a public parking here, um, which is not really. A problem just a couple of spots um, overall this neighborhood is super convenient in terms of small shops um, restaurants and um, just like living convenience and stuff and I tried to locate that unit and I found it it's the first floor so it's not facing the Eki it's actually on the other side so let's walk walk there um, behind the building there's a little park it's a very nice and um, like a little resting area. Um, not so much happening here, it's just a place for people to sit. And the unit is here. So as I approach the path in the back, which is really beautiful, the sakuras flying around right now uh, with the wind and everything. So those are the first floor units. And then this one um, on this side has a huge uh, balcony, but uh, the one that we're looking at is not this one, it's actually in the far end, that one over there. Um, so this one, this side is not facing the Eki, it's really quiet, uh, you don't hear much of it. And in terms of size of the balcony, it actually has a little, um, has a little wrap around and there's a tree there and uh, there's some greens growing around here and you can see that it's, it's a very nice um, balcony it might not get enough sunlight um, but I think if you're living in the building like this you generally don't get much sunlight and there's a park like this park is really beautiful and then there's this nice little path here that you can just walk um, into uh, in and out of the neighborhood and there's sakura trees um, all over the place and then the building next to it looks a little older um, uh, it's not, not a big deal but uh, yeah this building overall looks very good and I'm not I'm gonna go inside You can hear the the trains as it goes by already. Uh, there's this little bicycle parking over there. I saw people just dump their bikes there and ran straight to the Eki, and I think that's how people commute. And uh, this is inside the building. Um, these are the Amazon boxes. It looks a little, there's a little rust there. Um, just a mailbox, pretty standard. Uh, I don't think I can go in, but uh, I mean, it looks pretty straightforward. Heisei 14 would have been uh, 2016, right? 2015 years ago, no, 2002. 2002, yeah, 2002. So a 15 year old building, I think it's um, 
could have been a little newer and I see the sign there's a little bit of a dent here and there and rusted area I mean it's just this kind of stuff is just due to maybe poor maintenance uh, the maintenance fee is about it's man um, but overall I think this building is in pretty good shape uh, and I'm gonna take the train and just to see how fast I can get to uh, Tokyo station in Shinagawa and this is the the rental um, parking.